Okay, so we're going to start chapter three, section three. And today, all we're going to do out of the notes that are here are going to be the synthetic and the long division, and that's it. Then we'll do the rest of the notes tomorrow. So tonight's homework will only be four long division questions and four synthetic division questions. However, before we start, let's go ahead and review how to do long division with just numbers. So for example, if I said, let's divide four into 484. And everybody knows that you would try to figure out what, how many times will four go into four, and you would know that it would go in one time, and then you take the, the one that you found, and you multiply it by the four, and then you write that four underneath, and then remember you subtract those numbers, then you bring down the next. What do I have to times four by to make it an eight? I times it by two, and then you put four, uh, two times four, and you put it underneath, subtract, bring down, four times one, so you put a one on top, subtract, and you get a remainder of zero. This is what we're gonna be doing, but we're gonna be doing it with polynomials. So let's go ahead and see what long division is with polynomials. Now look at all of these steps. Pretty intense. So the main thing is you have to first arrange the terms of both the dividend and the divisor in descending powers. So you would put the biggest exponent, so basically standard form, where you would put like x, x cubed, x squared, x, and then the constant. You have to arrange all of your, both the dividend and the divisor in that manner. Then you're gonna take the dividend, or the top of the fraction, and you're gonna put it in the division box. And then the denominator, that's gonna be your divisor, it goes outside of the box. And then what we're going to be doing is we're gonna multiply every term in the div division by the term in the quotient. We'll write the resulting product underneath. We're gonna line up all our like terms. Then we'll change the signs of all the terms because we're subtracting. Then we'll bring down the next term and then repeat the process. We're gonna be writing our answers like mixed numbers. So let's go ahead and try this. I know it's a lot of words, it's a lot easier as we go through the examples. So let's try the first example. Again, my dividend is the numerator, so I write that in the division box. So I'm writing x squared minus x minus two. It was already given to me in descending order. The x squared, then the x, then the constant. Then I take the denominator, which is the divisor, put it outside the division box. Now, my goal here is to figure out what can I multiply x by to make it become x squared. And I can multiply x by x, because x times x gives me x squared. So notice where I wrote that number. I wrote it on top of the second number that was in my division box, because my quotient will always be one degree less than what I'm dividing by. So notice my dividend there was an x squared. My answer is gonna start with an x, one degree less. So now what I need to do is take this x, multiply it to the x, and multiply it to the one. So underneath, I'm gonna write x squared plus x. Now I switch the signs because I'm subtracting here. So it's easier to just remember after you multiply, change the signs on what you just got. Now I add the columns. So I'm gonna add x squared minus x squared, or x squared plus negative x squared, that one's gone. And then here I'm doing negative one x plus negative one x and I get negative 2x. Now I bring down my next number in my division box. And now I, yes. Brought down the negative 2. So now what am I going to multiply x by to make it negative 2x? 
and I'm going to multiply it by a negative 2. I'm going to distribute the negative 2 to the x and to the positive 1. So this becomes negative 2x minus 2. Change the signs, and now I add the columns. Negative 2 plus 2 is gone, and negative 2x plus 2x is also gone, giving me a remainder of 0. So my answer is just what's on top of the division box, and it's x minus 2. Now remember back, yes? Why are we changing the signs? Because what you're, does that do? Because you're supposed to be subtracting these. Now, the problem is, like for example, if up here, let's, let me just show you, so x squared minus x minus two, x plus one. So I knew I was multiplying it by an x, so this becomes x squared plus x. Now, Everybody's going to remember that you're supposed to subtract this first one, but then you've got to remember you're also subtracting this one. So it's easier if you do a keep flip change and just change all the signs that you get after you multiply to opposite of what they are, and then just add up and down. So if in the numerator everything was like addition, we wouldn't be changing the signs? You're still going to change no matter what you're doing there. You're still changing them because you're subtracting. Okay. All right, let's try the next one. So let me set it up. So again, the numerator goes in the division box. x squared minus x minus 2 divided by x plus 3. Now, if your given problem were x squared minus 2 minus x, you would need to fix it so it's in descending order. It has to be the x squared, then the x, then the 2. So you would have to fix something like this and put it in descending order. Now, again, I'm going to look at what's my first term here. What am I going to multiply x by to make it become x squared? And I'm going to multiply it by an x. Because x times x gives me x squared. And then I multiply x to the positive 3, and I get 3x. The next step is to change the signs on what we just got when we multiplied. So I make this negative. I make this negative and now I add the columns. So I'm going to be adding negative 1x plus negative 3x, giving me negative 4x. This one's gone because x squared plus negative x, or x squared minus x, if you want to think of it like that, it's gone. Bring down the negative 2. What am I going to multiply negative 4x? I mean, what am I going to multiply x by to make it negative 4x? And I'm going to multiply it by a negative 4. Distribute the negative 4 to the x and to the 3. Change the signs to opposite. Add the columns. This one's gone. And I'm adding negative 2 plus 12, and I get positive 10. This is my remainder because there's nothing else to bring down. I'm going to write it as if it were a mixed number. It's a positive 10, so I'm putting a plus. I take that remainder, and I put it over my divisor. So the final answer here is going to be x minus 4 plus 10 over x plus 3. Right, try number 3. Again, take the numerator. Make sure it's in descending order. It is. So I'm writing 5x to the third minus 6x squared 
minus 28x minus 2 divided by the denominator, which is x plus 2. I have to decide what do I need to multiply x by to make it become 5x to the third. I'm going to multiply it by a 5x squared. And I write it on top of the second term. Because notice, my answers have always been one degree less. My original problem started with an x to the third. My answer is going to start out with an x squared. Let me distribute the 5x squared to the x and to the 2. Change the signs to opposite. This one's gone. And this one becomes negative 16x squared. Bring down your next term. What am I going to multiply x by to make it become negative 16x squared? I'm going to multiply it by negative 16x. Distribute the negative 16x to the x and to the positive 2. Change the signs to opposite. The 16x squareds are gone. And now I just add up negative 28x plus 32x is positive 4x. Bring down your last term. What am I going to multiply x by to get a 4x? And I'm going to multiply it by 4. Distribute the 4 to both the x and the 2. Flip the signs to opposite. The 4x's are gone. And negative 2 plus negative 8 is negative 10. Take that remainder and write it as if it were a mixed number and write it as like the fractional part. So final answer here, let me squeeze out of this, is going to be 5x squared minus 16x plus 4 minus, because the remainder was negative, you put it as a subtraction sign, 10 over x plus 2. We're going to try one more, and then we're going to switch to synthetic division. Now, remember, it needs to be like a countdown. I'm missing some variables here. So I'm going to hold their places with zeros. So I'm going to start with x to the third. I'm missing my x squared term, so I'm going to hold its place with a 0x squared. I'm missing the x, so I hold its place with a 0x. And then lastly, I finally, finally write the constant. My divisor, I, it's fine the way it is, and just put the x plus 1. And now we start our process. What are we going to multiply x by? to make it become x to the third power. And I'm going to multiply it by an x squared. Distribute the x squared to the x and to the positive 1. Flip the signs to opposite. And now add your columns. This one's gone. This one becomes negative x squared. Bring down your next term. What am I going to multiply x by to make it negative x squared? And that's going to be negative x. Distribute the negative x to the positive x. And distribute the negative x to the positive 1. Flip the signs to opposite. 
This becomes a plus and a plus. Add the columns. That one's gone. And this one becomes x. Bring down your last term. What am I going to multiply x by to make it an x? I'm going to times it by a 1. Distribute 1 to x and 1 to 1. Any questions? Yes. All right. Now I s switch the signs. Make this negative. Make this negative. This one's gone, and now I'm doing negative 1 plus negative 1, and I get negative 2. So my remainder is negative 2. Write it over the divisor, and you're done. Final answer, x squared minus x plus 1 minus 2 over x plus 1. It has all the steps for synthetic. Same as the long division, you need to make sure you arrange your polynomial in descending order of powers, fill in any missing terms with zeros, and when we do synthetic, it must be a binomial that you're dividing by. If it's a trinomial, we can't use synthetic. The divisor must be in the format of x minus c. Now we're going to set it up. We're not going to do our traditional division box. We're actually going to flip it upside down and make it look like the letter L. And then what we'll do is we're going to bring, we're only using coefficients. We'll bring down the first coefficient. We'll multiply, write that product in the first column, add the column, and keep repeating. I know it's a lot of words, but as you see the process, it's not that hard. So let's try the first example. For synthetic, which was really example one, from the long division. So this denominator is your divisor. It must be in this format of x minus c. Now we're going to be setting up our division box. Instead of flip the other way, now I'm going to flip it down. It sort of looks like an L. Let me straighten that up. Now we're going to be writing our c value outside of this L. Now, if it's easier for you to take this denominator and do x plus 1 equals 0, then your c value, really what went in here, was a negative negative 1, and that's how it turned to positive. So bottom line, just take opposite of the number, and you write that right here. So this is what we're dividing by in our synthetic. Then now I'm going to take all of my coefficients. So let me write the problem here. My coefficients are going to be 1. So I write it here. This one's negative 1. I write it here. And then finally I write the constant. I'm not writing letters, only the coefficients. So I've set up the problem. Now I can begin the process. Your first step is to take your first coefficient, bring it straight down, and write it underneath. The next step is to take the number up here, your c value, multiply it by that coefficient you just dropped down, and then put the answer in the second column. I'm now going to add the column. I don't flip any signs. So now I'm going to add negative 1 plus negative 1, and I get negative 2. Now I'm going to take the same C value over here. Now I'm going to times it by the answer I got when I just added. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. And now I add the column and I get zero. Now I need to put it back and write it as a polynomial. So what I end up doing is I end up working backwards now from right to left. This is my remainder. This is my constant. This is my x term. So the remainder is what I'm writing for the letter R. The C is the constant in my answer. 
and then this is my x term. If there were another number, then I'd keep going with x squared, x cubed, and so on. But I only have a number out to x, so now what I do is I take this, 1, one x, and I don't need to write the 1, then the constant is just the number, and then I have no remainder. And this is my answer, which was the same answer that we got when we did it using long division. All right, let's try six. Again, make sure it's in descending order. It is. Again, you take opposite of this, so I'm gonna put a negative three and make my upside down division box. And now I'm only pulling coefficients. So I'm gonna pull a one. I'm gonna pull a negative one from in front of the x. And then the constant, which is negative two. I bring down my first coefficient, write it underneath the line. I now multiply the negative three times the positive one, and I write that answer in the second column. I'm now going to add that column, and I get negative four. I now multiply negative three times the negative 4, and I get positive 12. I add that column, and I get positive 10. Remember that the last number is the remainder, this is the constant, and then this is your x term. So final answer here is x minus 4, which is the constant, this time I have a remainder, and again, you write it over what you were originally dividing by. And you're done. Again, take only the coefficients. So five, negative six, negative 28, negative two, and again, take the opposite of this, and you put negative two here. If it's better for you to solve this so you know what you're putting out there, you can do it that way. But it's just the opposite. I bring down the first coefficient. I multiply that first coefficient with the negative two. I write that answer in the second column. I add that second column and I get negative 16. I now multiply negative 2 times negative 16 and get positive 32. Add the column, multiply negative 2 times positive 4, you get negative 8. Add the column, you get negative 10. The negative 10 is the remainder, the 4 is the constant, this is x, this is x squared. And now I'm going to put it together. So the 5 goes in front of the x squared, this negative 16 goes in front of the x, and then the constant goes by itself, and then lastly you write your remainder over the original divisor. All right, let's try. Again, just like before, we need to hold the places. So just like before, we did the x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 1. I'm going to take all of only my coefficients. So the 1, let me write it in black, and then the 0 and then the next zero, and then finally the negative one. Make your L, again take opposite of this, and now start the process. Bring down the first coefficient, multiply, write the answer in the second column, add that second column, multiply, 
add the column, multiply, write the answer, and add the column. This is the remainder, the constant, the x, and the x squared. Notice your answer is always one degree less than your original problem. So the final answer here is 1x squared minus 1x plus 1 with a remainder of negative 2 over x plus, no, x plus 1. I'm going to do one more dividing by a trinomial. Remember synthetic, this can only be divided by a binomial. Let me do one more example. And we're doing long division again. So I'm going to take my numerator, write it in the division box. Write the denominator outside of the division box. And again, what am I going to multiply x squared by to make it 2x to the fourth? I'm going to multiply it by a 2x squared. You're going to distribute that to all three here. So this becomes 2x to the fourth plus 4x cubed minus 6x squared. Flip all of the signs to the opposite and now add the columns. This one's gone, this one's also gone, but this one becomes positive x squared. Now, notice I got rid of two columns, so now instead of bringing one term down, I've gotta bring down two, because I eliminated two things. So I'm gonna bring down both the three x and the negative two. What do I need to multiply x squared by to make it x squared? I just need to times it by a 1. So distribute a 1 to the entire thing, which is just the same thing that's there. So let me just write x squared plus 2x minus 3. Flip the signs to opposite and now add the columns. This one's gone. This one becomes x, and this one becomes plus 1. This is your remainder because there's nothing else to bring down. So you put plus x plus 1 over that entire trinomial, which is your divisor. So final answer here, 2x squared plus 1 plus x plus 1 over x squared plus 2x minus 3. So you have four long division questions in the homework and four synthetic. I will finish the notes tomorrow.